do have coming in. Confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonation. Now the mod we are gonna be taking a look at next aims to bring yet another item from one of the earlier games in the Fallout franchise into the world of Fallout 4 in a quite peculiar, odd and generally unusual manner. Now the Pip-Boy 2000 mod adds in exactly what the name implies and that being the classic Pip-Boy from earlier Fallout titles into the Commonwealth coming back with its very own custom-made meshes, high resolution textures and a full brand new set of custom animations. Be that for switching between tabs, multiple inventory sub-tabs, changing radio frequencies or even loading up a multitude of various holotapes. The mod itself has been seamlessly integrated into the world of Fallout 4, considering that it completely replaces the vanilla Pip-Boy with the brand new model and can be obtained early game in Vault 111 right next to a spooky scary skeleton. Unfortunately though, the animations for leaving Vault 111 are currently somewhat... Uh, inexistent. Even though, as of right now, the mod is in a fully functioning state, it is still in very early stages, meaning that some animations still need to be fleshed out just a little bit, some bugs might need fixing, and currently the mod can only be installed manually, which honestly is really fucking annoying, but not too big of an issue, considering that all you will have to do is copy the data folder into your Fallout 4 directory, add in a few lines of code, for good measure, and install any of the other optional features in the exact same way, be that various compatibility patches or even changing the POV, after which I would highly recommend you activate the mod through the Nexus mod manager and you know what, throw in a few more lines of random fucking code. Even though this mod could undoubtedly still use a little bit of work every now and again, it does an absolutely amazing job at bringing the Pip-Boy 2000th to life within the world of Fallout 4. And even though I may not plan on using this mod permanently, it should definitely provide you with a nice change of pace compared to the vanilla Pip-Boy. Now I know what some of you may be thinking. Sure, this mod is immersive, lore friendly and true to the original Fallout series, but Fallout 4's Pip-Boy? That shit is fucking dead! Sure, the Pip-Boy 2000 might be a little bit bare bones and lacking some flashy features, and Fallout 4's Pip-Boy undoubtedly has that. But at the end of the day, a computer does not necessarily have to be all that thick for me to want to stick my penis in it. What? So feel free to ditch your dusty old Pip-Boy, pick up a brand new Pip-Boy 2000 and venture off into the wasteland as the biggest fucking hipster of the Commonwealth. Well, I mean, besides like that one dude rocking a massive ass coat and beard, despite being only, uh, 21. If for some odd reason you actually enjoyed watching this video and would like to watch more, then subscribe to the channel. As always, my name is Nagi, you've been watching Trollin' Bros, until next time guys, I'll see ya! Pip boy, huh? Seems more like a fucking fat boy if you ask me. <laughs> you get it? Because uh, <sighs> I wanna fucking kill myself.